good evening i am back it's minky again um it's been a while since i've posted anything on here and um i just wanted to do a banana bread i've gotten a lot of requests um uh it's a plain banana bread no nuts or anything um stay tuned so for my banana bread these are the ingredients i need one cup of banana this is actually two banana crushed two medium or two um large banana it's usually a cup so that's two bananas i have a half cup of butter i have one and a half cup of sugar i have one and a half cup of flour two eggs i the recipe calls for sour cream but i use yogurt it's a coconut yogurt and i have some cinnamon some nutmeg and in here i have a quarter teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda so for banana bread you need baking soda and baking powder and i have some vanilla here this is just a teaspoon also so these are all of my ingredients the first thing i'm gonna do is cream my butter and my sugar and i'm gonna be using my KitchenAid mixer so it's easier. Then I'm gonna blend it or mix it. Combined and smooth. So I'm going to scrape down the sides. some more. Mix it in. In the meantime, I'm going to add my powdered ingredients like the dry ones, which is the salt and all these spices. always easier to add your dry ingredients all together and I'm going to mix this in so it's nice to mix in then I'm going to these eggs or add them so my butter is nice and creamed with my sugar now gonna add the rest of my wet ingredients starting with the egg
So after the egg is combined and everything is nice and smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and add my banana. My vanilla. And my yogurt. So I've added my vanilla, my banana, and my yogurt, and I'm gonna mix it. When all of that is combined, and I'm gonna slowly add in my flour. So as usual, you're really gonna mix it until it's nice and smooth or until it's well combined because the yogurt is already smooth and so is the banana. It's just mixing it combined. So I'm gonna check and turn it off. Okay. Now I'm going to add the flour. I'm going to add some more. And maybe I'll just add all of it. Okay. This smells so good. Just mixing it together, it smells so good. Take it's done and combine. No. Now, <clears throat> usually I have to scrape the sides because everything is not mixed in properly. Now let me get my bigger spatula. Kind of just like these little ones because they scrape the sides perfectly. Make sure all the flour is mixed in and combined. I'm gonna give it one little mix, and I'm on, and then I'm gonna pour it in the baking pan that I buttered and floured. All right? And put it in the oven on 350 degrees for 30. Five to 40 minutes depending on the type of pan you use it should be 30 minutes so once you stick it with a toothpick it's supposed to come out nice and clean with nothing on the end and then you'll know it's complete so that's the fin final lap now I'm gonna pour it in my baking pan here. I butter and floured. Try to do it evenly. So I made sure it's even in this pan here. You can use other baking pans too. I just decided I wanted to use this today. It's easier and it bakes faster if you do it in um, the square small pans. 
And um, let me give you an idea what I'm talking about. Excuse the noise. Like this. It'll be much easier. Sometimes it's less than 30 minutes because or there's the one with the four. So this is eight and that one's four. And you know, this is a regular, um, well, this is not a regular cake pan, <laughs> but yeah, kind of like the outcome. So I like to use this one. Now my oven has been hot and it's waiting. So I'm going to stick it in. It's on 350. So I'm going to stick it in there on the middle rack and set my timer for 35 minutes. And once it's set for 35 minutes, I can change it whenever I want. Timer has ended. <clears throat> so I'm going to check on it. Look at it. Ooh, nice and brown. I'm going to take it out and check it now. <laughs> It probably needs another five minutes, but let's check <clears throat> so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm going to use one of these to check. See that? That means it's not done. Okay, so I'm going to stick it back in, and when it comes out clean, that's when it's fully done. So that was 35 minutes. Hence, what I'm talking about when I say it depends on the size of your pan and how much you have in it. If I had one of the pan that contained eight or four, it would have been done. So I'm gonna put it back in and set this timer for another five minutes. Oops. There we go. Oops, past the deadline. Okay. nice and clean that means it's done so this is what the banana bread supposed to look like when it's done now if I um, shake it around a little it will probably <clears throat> start coming out of the pan but I like to wait a little bit until it's cool but this is what it looks like and I don't want to poke it again but yeah Banana bread completed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.